Welcome to MCTV's Let's Talk. I'm Mike Stanzillas, Vice President of Membership and Government Affairs for the Morris County Chamber of Commerce. And today we are on episode six of our continuing series with John Allen Mullenhauer, also known by his initials as Jan. And John is the founder of Performance Lifestyle Inc. He's a, he's a really well-known performance lifestyle coach. And in my opinion, he's completely on the cutting edge of something that um, you really need to know about. And a lot of people uh, are going to find out about John real soon, I think. So, John, we had some great talks so far in the first five episodes. I know today you want to talk about systems and habits, good or bad. So what are some of the systems and, and, and talk about that for the performance lifestyle? Well, when it comes to lifestyle, most people think in terms of routines and habits, and they roll up to systems or skills um, that enable you to achieve your goals. So, you know, coming into this, this episode six, we've talked a, a, a lot about um, getting into the lifestyle itself, why and, and where you need to be living from and what you need to get free of. But at the end of the day, when you finally, in our last episode, we talked about developing the lifestyle itself, right? At the end of the day, it's going to come down to, to, to habits, routines, habits, skills that ultimately become a system and your lifestyle i don't think most people are used to looking at it this way is a system and your lifestyle is actually a system that enables you to achieve your goals not not eating better as a goal or exercising more as a goal or anything you do all of that so that you can achieve your life business career or sporting or creative pursuits in your life like you live better to achieve your goals so you know, it's, it's the, your lifestyle is the master system. It's comprised of skills, which are comprised of a series of habits, which are comprised of a series of routines, all of which, if you take it back the other way, rolls up into what you call your lifestyle. That's incredible. And that's so true. Skills, habits, routines, a system, right? So a lot of us have, are very skilled at certain things and those could be watching a lot of tv right eating junk food whether you know it or not these are habits and skills and systems that we have all perfected right uh, i don't know what the goals are for those but certainly they're not they're not what you are talking about but i'm sure that everybody has these kind of skills how do you help people undo those skills and habits I, I love the way you put that. And I want to tell everybody listening, I'm super skillful at being able to sit for hours watching television going like this. I mean, I did it for years. The thing is, is that it just doesn't work. And if you actually do the math on what it costs you to do this three hours a day, it's staggering. You would never do it again. But I want to tell you, we're all skillful at that. But what we're talking about, Mike, now is stepping up our game. We're talking about going beyond just, you know, the fitness lifestyle and maybe living a little bit healthier and wedging it in to our busier life. We're figuring out like, what are the fundamentals of successful living and how do we break out of those other habits? And instead of them being 50, 60% of our lives, which they are for some people, 30 or 40%, whatever the numbers are, to making them to less than 10% and then discovering what are the actual fundamentals of successful living that you want to build routines around that you're going to want to build habits around that you're going to want to turn into skills and then connect them all together like like pearls in a necklace so that you build a system to achieve your goals that is what you call a performance lifestyle so now you have a context and now you're not just trying to eat better you're actually achieving your goals in life so you're very very motivated to do it so you know it's about building routines that roll up to habits, that roll up to skills, that roll up to your master, you know, system, which is your lifestyle and, and literally just drowning out those things that are causing you to burn out and trade your health for success because you just, you know, they're just bad habits. They don't take you in the direction you want to go. Wow, that is outstanding. So that's the habits, the skills, the routines, the systems that you help people to build up to live this incredible lifestyle that you are so passionate, so energetic about. Uh, John, anything else you'd like to share with our members today? 
Yeah, I'm glad you asked that because look, living a performance lifestyle does not mean you're a complete stoic and always you know, focused on your function and your, your energy, your health, your function and performance. There's still room for indulgence. It's just that it becomes so much less in our life because one thing there's, that's true about successful people is they don't tolerate unsuccessful things. They've been there, they've done that. Once you, once you have taken the blue pill, so to speak, and you are out of that matrix of nonsense, it doesn't mean you never touch back to the lows. It just means that you, you, it's not that you can't do it, it's that you just won't do it because you learn that it doesn't take you in the direction you wanna go, it doesn't enable you to look the way you want, feel the way you want, and it does not enable you to perform the way you want. So this isn't about being perfectionistic and, and getting rid of the enjoyment out of life, it's not. But you will start to enjoy changing, improving, and optimizing the way you live because you will look, feel, and perform better. And, and, uh, and that's how you keep your quote unquote discipline when it's really just momentum. Outstanding. Yeah, as, uh, there is no magic pill. So uh, John Allen Mullenhauer, uh, Jam, it's been such a pleasure to do this series with you. I'm looking forward to our next talk. And thank you to our Chamber of Commerce members. We really appreciate your support. And uh, if you want to learn more about this, get in touch with John directly. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.